and take it away. Hey, Javier, how you doing? Hey, good. Recording in progress. Uh, um, just want to get your thoughts on the group uh, coming off that 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 uh, tough loss the other night. Where's this group at mentally heading into this um, showdown with LAFC? In a good place, in a good spot. I mean, uh, that's that's life, and that's and that's this sport. You know, you need to just turn the page, uh, take the positives, uh, learn from the <clears throat> from the mistakes you did, and yeah, wake up, be grateful, enjoy your life, and try to do the best as you can. And I think that's that's the mindset, that's the mentality uh, that we have. The past we cannot change it. It is what it is, and of course, like I tell you, we need to to maintain the things that we're doing pretty well, and then learn from the from the mistakes that we have done in the past. And yeah, just keep going. And we have a a beautiful game on Sunday and a great scenario, great weekend. So hopefully, we can get the three points here in our home in that derby. Was there anything you guys did um, the first half? You guys were all pretty much all over them the first half. Um, anything that you guys talked about beforehand that sort of sort of you, the, the group seemed more lively um that first half the other night i mean the first and the second yeah, <laughs> I mean, right. we yeah. dominate them uh, they, they got the three points uh, like they were they were they deserved it because they got them but we just fully dominate them like like we did the um, in 70 minutes in austin too it's just like and i said it after uh of course, we want the results, and and soccer is about that. But I think the foundation that we are creating right now before the playoffs that that we are still fighting to to get our spot over there, I think it's amazing because if you don't have the foundation, sometimes yeah, you can win games, but then in playoffs that that that's not gonna make you solid, you know. So I mean, I think we're doing pretty good. There's a lot of a lot more positive uh, in those games, regardless the results, because it's yeah, we we didn't get any point in the last two. Uh, games on the road, but I mean, I think and uh, we feel that we did so many good things that we're going to maintain to trying to do that and of course improve the mistakes that we've done. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Damien. We'll go with Josh Gaston. Josh, go ahead. Hey, Javi, thanks for, for taking the time. Um, I think this is going to be your first El Trafico at home with the capacity crowd, right? Full capacity, it's going to be absolutely packed. They're expecting I mean, I it. I felt it the last one. <laughs> Sorry to yeah. interrupt you. But the last one I know, I understand it wasn't the, the full one, but it was with my crowd. I scored, we won. I mean, I understand what you're saying, but for me, and this type of games is like, it, it, it doesn't matter if it's the first, the second, the whatever. It's 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 a, it's a derby, man. It's a traffic. You know, it doesn't matter uh, how these two teams are coming. Uh, sorry, you can finish now the, the question, but I wanted just to say that, like, in these type of games, you don't need to put a special ingredient on it. You know, you don't need to. These type of games are like, they are what they are. That's why they're traffic or they're derbies. And, and, and obviously, if you don't get motivated in those in those type of games, I don't know what you're doing in this in this in this sport and in this job. Obviously, no, no, no. I I think that's a that's a good point. I, I would say I would just try to maybe say you played those in an empty stadium before. Mm. They have obviously there's an intensity to it. Obviously, you guys. Um, you know, still have to play the game there. You get with fans in, and now you're going to get, I, I'm going to call it the full experience, all right? Because um, uh, <laughs> yeah. I've, I've seen it, and, and I understand. So you're getting the full experience. I, I mean, are the guys looking forward to that? Are you looking forward to that? Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah, I, I repeat a lot of this, this type of, of, of comments and, and, and ideas that I have in my, in my, in my mind that is like, yeah, you need to look forward every single time, you know, and this lovely sport give you a chance of like redeem yourself if the results are not pretty well. Like like right now, the run that we had that we couldn't win in a lot of games, uh, we haven't, sorry. Uh, and as well, when you're doing pretty well, the things to maintain that. So it's like, it's like in the pitch sometimes. And when I miss a chance, when I score a chance, or when you play this sport, it's like the most important play is the one about to come, you know, the one that it's coming. So... Yeah, this game, obviously, that is a traffic, it's a very good way for both of the teams, uh, whoever is going to win, uh, to, to to redeem themselves. Because, yeah, we're in a, in a pretty bad run, uh, LA Galaxy and then LAFC fighting for a spot, but as well, probably in the in the, in the edge and not getting the chances to get over there. And then, of course, the traffic is the traffic, the derby is the derby. So, I mean, it's always amazing uh, that... Uh, that we can do what, what we love most. You know, I was injured two months and I was very frustrated. Now I'm very grateful. Last year with the COVID the stop, how, how you mentioned not only the traffic uh, games uh, without crowd, the bubble, how everything changed. I mean, 
uh, yeah, you, you you pretty well know me, and sometimes I repeat some some uh, phrases, some answers because that's the way that I feel. That's the way that I like to live, like in the present moment. Of course, like I said, it learning a lot of from, from my mistakes so I can improve and show a better version of myself, and as well the things that we're doing pretty well, just maintain them. So yeah, it's gonna be a great uh, a weekend, and and hopefully, and I think uh, with the three points uh, with us. Thanks, Avi. Appreciate it. You're welcome. We'll go with Kevin Baxter from the LA Times. Kevin, go ahead. Hey, Javier. Thanks for your time. You're welcome. You look good. You look like you're happy. <laughs> I mean, of course, and, and, and I don't want to, to, to sound very imprudent and stuff. Of course, the run is like that, but life is life. I'm healthy. My kids are healthy. The people that I love are healthy. Uh, I'm doing what I love most, that is playing soccer uh, with the best organization in MLS, the biggest club in this country. Uh, fighting for a spot in the playoffs, uh, preparing myself from uh, to to play a derby. So I mean, to, to, <laughs> what else should I ask? You know, like I'm not happy. I will be obviously. I will be so irresponsible. I mean, I'm so grateful. I'm so I'm alive, man. I have an opportunity to wake up, to do what I love most, to keep creating the life that I want to to create, to to take decisions, to be here, to speak with you guys. I mean, it's like. What else? You know, like, I'm well, just grateful. Except for maybe the speaking with us guys part. Maybe that's not your favorite thing to do, but you, you mentioned are the right. <laughs> You are right, but you know what? Sometimes I like it. You know, sometimes that, that's why I go through, because <laughs> when I grew up, sorry to share this, when I grew up, a lot of friends, a lot of people ask me, you know, why do you answer the same things? And I said, because they ask me the same things, you know? <laughs> so now sometimes I go over and I could say things that probably you don't ask. So at least I have fun saying what I want to say, you know, in a way, you know, because the questions I could be, I could do it in five minutes, guys, with you. And it's like, we're going to play an amazing game. It's a traffic call. Of course, we want to win. Of course, we're disappointed because we lost last game. Uh, I want to keep, like, giving my best and goodbye, you know? So, yeah, I always try to to manage the way of every moment, even the ones that I don't love most, because of course, if you give me to compare, if I want to speak with you guys, if I want to play games, obviously I want to choose playing games. So yeah, I'm just trying to to enjoy. And, and obviously I know the responsibility that that being this chair with this shield behind, uh, being the striker, the all the confidence that the people are putting in myself. Uh, I know that. And I love that because it's amazing. It's being in the spot and I want to deliver as, as good as I can. And I'll be the first one that, that says if I didn't do it, I didn't do it. And when I'm doing it pretty well, I felt it. And sometimes I said it. So, uh, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm happy. Yeah. <laughs> Well, maybe this, hopefully this question will be one that you haven't been asked before, but obviously the team's struggling, but you've played for some of the biggest teams in the world, Chivas, Manchester uh, United, you played at Real Madrid. Now, as yeah. you mentioned, the Galaxy, the biggest club in MLS, all those clubs have a tradition and a history. And when you're going through a tough time like this, does that make a difference? Do you think, hey, wait a minute. You know, we haven't won in eight games, but we're the galaxy. You know, we can overcome this. We're, we're going to reach back to our history. You weren't here for the history. I know that. But the club has that tradition. It, does that help or does it, that just get washed away when the game starts? It, in my life, in my mindset, of course it helps because there's it's, it's, a, it's a fact that allows me to yeah, to, to motivate me more, to compromise myself, to want to give even more. You know, sometimes I said it to my teammates that, uh, I mean, look, if you want to put it like this, I told them uh, in the locker room uh, after this game that we need to accept our luck. And this is sometimes, this is the luck of top, top teams has because imagine in 180 minutes, we play uh, most of them like dominant, with more possession, with more chances. Uh, don't allow them to to have uh, chances to the opposite teams. Like, we were completely dominant, you know, and then it wasn't enough. So I told them, like, that's the luck. That's, that's, that, those are the facts that sometimes we need to accept being in this institution. Because, of course, you, you don't know that every club that, that plays against LA Galaxy, they motivate a little bit more because they want to beat LA Galaxy. Even though they could be out of playoffs or whatever, they, they like to beat uh, LA Galaxy. So, of course, it's a, a fact or an argument or something that brings me more passion, more responsibility, and more desire to 
to deliver good performances, you know, in my, in my, in my point of view. So I say that sometimes to my teammates, not to make pressure, not to show off, not to uh, uh, feel that you already made it. It's completely the opposite. It's like the standard is over here with these type of clubs and the clubs that you mentioned sometimes is like, you have everything to lose and nothing to win because normally when you win, that's a normal stuff for the history. But when you lose, that's the 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 like the the the, the parts that people are not used to it. So it's completely the opposite, you know. So that's a nice responsibility for me. That's why the word responsibility is amazing because it's on me. It's, it depends on me. It's mine. I like it. I, I prefer to be in the spot and hum, with the humbleness of accepting that when I do mistakes, I do mistakes. I'm human, and and in sports you're gonna you're gonna do mistakes. The thing is not doing as much mistakes as 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 you can, and of course just be as as an effective as you can, like like uh, Austin and Real Salt Lake were, and we and we weren't, you know. So I mean, of course, yeah, it's a very nice ingredient and it's a very nice responsibility. And it's a very nice opportunity that this organization trusts not only in myself, in every teammate, every worker, every people that is working for this organization, that they give us the, the chance to represent this uh, club. Thank you. Don't worry. Be happy. Good luck. <laughs> no, I'm not at all. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Kevin. Ahora cambiaremos a las preguntas en español. Empezamos, Javi, con una que viene de Enrique Gutiérrez, que me la mandó por mensaje. Okay. Eh, este fin de semana estaremos celebrando a Landon Donovan con una estatua. El club le estará presentando una estatua. Javi, si podrías hablarnos sobre el legado de Landon, tanto en Galaxy como en el fútbol en general. Híjole, creo que las, las palabras... Eh, eh, híjole... No sé, es que hay, hay palabras para una carrera como un jugador, como, como lo fue él para, para este país, para esta liga, eh, para, para el mundo. También es un jugador muy conocido, la verdad, un jugador que, que se merece eso y más. Y ojalá también nosotros le podamos dar eh, ese, ese homenaje con los tres puntos también, con la victoria el domingo. Pero créeme que Landon Donovan, tú me lo mencionas en este país y todo el mundo lo sabe, ¿no? También sabe su nombre, sabe la carrera tan magnífica que tuvo también, más allá que no jugó mucho en Europa, pero también cuando jugó en Everton y tuvo sus préstamos eh, y más que más allá en la selección, en las Copas Confederaciones, las Copas del Mundo y la verdad que era que era un jugador que, que obviamente no nos gustaba enfrentar como mexicanos. Yo en ese momento no, no jugué mucho en contra de él, eh, pero cuando era aficionado y cuando era un niño sabiendo que íbamos a jugar contra Estados Unidos y Landon Donovan estaba ahí, pues era muy difícil. Bueno, también en el Mundial del 2002, eh, Estados Unidos nos no, no sacó los octavos de final, ¿no? Entonces, este es un jugador que también algo que yo le admiré muchísimo, que siempre fue eh, auténtico, nunca se traicionó, siempre fue él. Eh, cuando quiso hablar en español en unas entrevistas lo hizo, cuando quiso declarar lo que quiso declarar en su momento que pudo haber sonado controversial, lo hizo, siempre se expresaba de la manera en que, en que de verdad se sentía, fue muy auténtico para mí, entonces es algo que le admiré muchísimo y, y claro, dentro del campo también se le veía eso, ¿no? con ese talento, con esa velocidad, con esa explosividad y también con esa inteligencia este, en, el, en, el, en el fútbol que siempre lo mostró, creo que es algo que, que, que todos los jugadores debemos de admirarle. Gracias, Javi. Iremos ahora con Dani de Oso de Yahoo. Dani, adelante. Hola, Javier. Eh, tengo dos rapiditas. Eh, primero, obviamente estaba fuera de cancha que dos meses. Quería saber cómo se siente usted en lo físico, en lo personal. ¿Se siente bien? ¿Se siente al 100? ¿Cómo sí, está progresando ahí? Sí, muy bien. La verdad que, que volví, jugué 60 minutos contra Colorado, después 90 contra Houston, después entré 30 contra Minnesota. Y luego jugué 90 a Austin y ahorita casi 90, otros 80, 85 minutos. Así que la verdad que bien, me siento muy bien. Excelente. Y usted ya habló un poco en inglés de, de la importancia del clásico, obviamente, pero teniendo un clásico en este momento, sabiendo los dos equipos cómo están y tan tarde en la temporada que puede tener, obviamente, un impacto en, en, en lo que sigue en octubre con la, con la pelea para los playoffs, eh, ¿les da a ustedes un poquito de confianza? tener ese partido en casa sabiendo que ellos en la historia del clásico no han ganado allá en Carso. A ver, siempre soy de la idea de que cuando alguien trae a la mesa ese tipo de, como de, como de, este, de, de estadísticas, como que nunca, nunca, nunca siempre pasa la primera vez. Así que para mí da igual si nunca han ganado acá, para mí da igual si ellos vienen de una mala racha, también nos da un poquito igual a nosotros si venimos de una mala racha. Un clásico es un clásico, ese tipo de partidos, como lo dije en inglés, no necesitas ponerle más ingredientes para motivarte, para tomarlo con la seriedad, con la responsabilidad y también con la motivación necesaria. Así que lo único que tenemos en nuestra mente es 
que en estos últimos dos partidos que jugamos de visita, sacar todo lo bueno que hicimos para poderlo mantener y luego también lo negativo, aprender de ello para que no lo repitamos contra, contra el AFC en un partido que obviamente eh, va, a ser, va a ser muy bonito y muy lindo como todos los partidos eh, <coughs> en el tráfico desde, desde, desde que se empezaron a dar, desde que la franquicia del AFC eh, eh, surgió, ¿no? Entonces, eh, todos estamos contentos, motivados y con muchísimas ganas el domingo de, de darlo todo nuevamente y, que, y poder sacar los tres puntos delante de nuestra gente, obviamente. Gracias, David, suerte. De nada, gracias. Vamos con Mónica Delgado. Mónica, adelante. Hola Javier, la situación Hola. que ahora vive LA Galaxy no es la que desean. Se viene un partido con mucha importancia dentro de la Major League Soccer y para Los Ángeles. ¿Cómo llega el club y qué tan importante será anímicamente conseguir una victoria, Javi? Pues como lo respondí, Mónica, las la, la, la respuestas pasadas, y perdón que lo sea muy corto, pero es... Tenemos que ser positivos, tenemos que sacarle lo mejor a lo que venimos haciendo, aprender de, lo, de los errores y de las cosas en las cuales no estamos muy orgullosos y que no queremos volver a repetir. Y que es un fin de semana muy lindo el poder tratar de revertir esta situación con un tráfico. Perfecto, gracias. Es el tiempo que tenemos hoy. Muchas gracias, David, por tu tiempo. Gracias.